facility. And we went to see her one day, and I believe she's 96. And she asks him, she couldn't remember what the locomotive was called. And she asks him, she was like, you're still living up the big dude? <laughs> And he told that story, and I said, you know what, why don't you put that on the front? So we plan to do that as a tribute to the commitment and the support that his family give him, and a tribute to her, and her sweetness, and her grandmotherly voice asking her, her great-grandson, who she's so proud of, are you still working on the big news? So that's the back story about that. Takes about 20 minutes to knock all those dogs out of position to loosen them up and open that big giant door. And you can see the stack extensions and those big steel rods coming down. Those are brand new. That's all brand new stuff in there. And you can see way back in there, you can see those vertical pipes, those clamps holding them up. Those are the superheaters. And that's the superheater header and the front end throttle. So he's got the front end open give him some airflow through there because he's, he's doing some dirty dusty work cleaning and inspecting that firebox getting it ready for 60 days we're going to do a boiler wash we're going to do this when we get to el paso so we're going to run the engine for a while then we're going to take it down let it cool off drain it wash it clean it and do this 